rushing to mute this video to um, minimize this window to turn down the volume and watch it secretly or even just change this entire video and watch something else today i am here to talk about sex more importantly i'm here to talk about sex education and the lack of it and before you start running off thinking i'm just some random person who knows nothing about all of this and is here to scream sex 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 on the internet let me introduce myself my name is dr tanya i am a medical doctor and i am also known as dr cutris i am a gynecologist in training and i use the internet to talk about sex education reproductive health education sexual pleasure sex positivity body positivity and just learn about our bodies in an uncomplicated way in general today like i mentioned before i am here to talk about sex education or actually the lack of it because we don't get any sex education now if you were an icsc kid like me you would have in class 8 i believe you would have a chapter on reproduction i think that was chapter 7 and if like me you went to a hush hush school which i'm assuming you did because most people do um your teachers would have skipped over that chapter and told you to either this is not a part of the syllabus or go read this at home on your own or you can learn about this later we're skipping this chapter for now this is the common sentiment for most people especially in our country in india this is something that happens very very frequently because as a population we are so uncomfortable talking about the idea of sex while also somehow pretending that all of us got here through some miracle literally all of us on earth were born through sex except people who were born through ivf yay but you know even if you were born through ivf there would be masturbation involved or yeah like sex is everywhere basically is what i'm trying to say so why don't we talk about it why can't we talk why can't we talk about it and why is it so taboo and what are the consequences of this now coming from india the consequences that i see are that there is an incredible rate of unwanted pregnancies there's so many people who don't want to get pregnant but just don't know how not to get pregnant on the other hand that there's so many cases of infertility there's so many people who want to get pregnant but don't know when to get pregnant don't know how to get pregnant don't know what are the things they should be doing to get pregnant and you know what let's put pregnancy aside for a second because it feels like all gynecologists are just obsessed with <laughs> somehow you know talking about pregnancy let's put that aside for a second sexual pleasure it is such an integral part of our lives it's a great way of enjoying and it's a very healthy way of building a good dynamic with your partner it's a healthy way of exploring self love you know everything from the kama sutra to cosmopolitan will tell you 15 different things about sex where is the authority on this how do you know what you're learning about is correct or not and where do you learn about this now the results of this are things like this patient that my parents had this patient had had 7 years of infertility now if you've heard me talk before there is a good likelihood you've heard me tell the story before that this patient of my parents who had 7 years of infertility so it was a married couple and they were trying to have a child and for 7 years they had been not been successful at it they had tried everything under the sun just no pregnancy now my parents are infertility specialists so this couple came to my parents and they told them that you know we want to have a baby we can't have a baby please help us some tests were run a lot of investigations were done and you know what they found out in the end they found out that all their tests were normal so the semen or the sperm perfectly good and healthy the eggs perfectly good and healthy no reason why they shouldn't be able to have a baby so my dad who is a male reproductive health specialist took the husband of this couple and he's like Let, let's have a chat what exactly are you doing why is this not working 
something seems to be wrong here and you will not believe the answer he got for the past seven years of their married life for the past seven years of them trying to have a child this person this man had been sticking it in the del in the belly button not inside the vagina he had been fornicating with the belly button of his wife because according to him babies come from the tummy which is flawless logic if you ask me babies come from the tummy there is a hole in the tummy so isn't that where the penis is supposed to go no somewhere else really this person had never been told what to do to have a baby this person had never been told how to have sex now of course that has changed in this day and age with pornography and internet porn widely available which brings us to another problem porn is hella unrealistic porn tells us that people with 12 inch penises um have sex for you know keep going on for 89 minutes not wearing a condom in vulvas that are perfectly pink and manicured that do not have a speck of hair on them that do not have any awkward boils that do not have any inner thigh pigmentation and that have gravity defined breasts <laughs> This is a very very common uh, trope and you know as we do understand that there's so much of pornography that is focused on heterosexual sex with no mention of other variations that can happen and other kind of sexualities that people might have and with picture perfect bodies not normal bodies and showing unrealistic expectations when a person orgasms they don't yell the way they do in porn when the person has sex with somebody else for the first time they're most likely going to use condoms they're most likely going to use dental dams there is so much unrealistic performance in pornography that a lot of young people are learning from and not understanding what real sex is like and not understanding what real sex involves this is why we need sex education Sex education does not mean that I am going to come and corrupt your minds. Sex education does not mean that other people like me, teachers like me, educators like me will come to your schools and destroy your children's brains and fill them with filth. Sex education means we teach people about their bodies. We teach them what part of the body is called what because vocabulary is important. You can't go to the doctor and say I'm having a pain in the front of my body without specifically saying I'm having stomach pain or I'm having chest pain or I'm having knee pain. Vocabulary is very important. So in sex education we teach people about body vocabulary. We teach them what is what, what does what and what is normal. For example, and if you're one of these people please do comment below and let us know. So many of us don't know that women have three holes they pee from a separate hole the vagina is a separate hole and the bum is a separate hole so peeing and pooping are separate holes and there's another hole in the middle through which a baby comes out through which menstrual blood comes out in which a penis goes in which a sex toy goes in which a menstrual cup goes in which a tampon goes and so many people hesitate in using other menstrual products other than pads even though they're uncomfortable because they think that if i put a tampon inside how will i pee or if i put a menstrual cup inside how will i pee imagine the impact on their quality of life you know somebody can be walking around with painful period pad related rashes but not able to use something else because they just don't know about their bodies so many of us don't know what is normal with our bodies and tend to freak out when we read random shit on the internet so many of us try all different kinds of and i can vouch for this that a good 60% of the audience that is watching this must have tried this at home we would have looked at the internet seen some curious way of lightening your genital skin and used toothpaste used curd used lemon juice used aggressive scrubs used abrasive chemicals used 
harsh things that should not be going anywhere near your genital skin on our genitals to lighten them to brighten them because we are not educated on what is right sex education is important to understand our bodies and to understand what's normal and what's abnormal to understand and come to love our bodies in our own ways to understand and to appreciate how things work in our bodies sex education is an integral part of education and it's time we talk about it sex it's not so taboo education it's not taboo at all let's combine them together and envision a future world that is free from infections from disease that is full of positivity that is full of learning and knowing and appreciating our bodies this is dr tanya also known as dr cutris urging you to talk about it to discuss this and to learn more about it thank you